Hi friends, it's story time and today we are going to read Simple Machines, the book Simple Machines. It's written by DJ Worth and illustrated by Mike Lowery. And this is our second read aloud. We read before one part of the book and today we are going to read another one. You remember this book that had so many simple machines in these illustrations, a car, a car jack, oh, a mountain road. Is a mountain road a simple machine? Does a mountain road, is a simple machine included in it? Let's see. Oh, and we have here screws and bolts. And this part we will remember from the other time. You see this box of toys. Have you ever had to move something really heavy? You, how did you do it? For instance, if you had to move this, this toys box, what would you do? Did you grab it from underneath and lift with all your might? Did you learn your? Sh did you lean your shoulder into it and po push? Did you tie a rope to it and pull, pull, pull? How did you do it? Hmm. Or did you use a machine? With a machine. You don't have to lift or push or pull so hard. Machines make work easier. Here, try, the, try this. And the boy says, Thanks, Dad. And you see, they use a lever and wheels with an axle to transport the toys, the toy box. <clears throat> and you see, we have here so many machines. That's why machines are everywhere. You see, there are machines everywhere. Look around your neighborhood. We use machines to help us get around. Machines help us dig and build and knock things down. They help us reach way up high. You see, with this machine, we can pull the soil up and down, we can move it around. Cars, bulldozers and lawn mowers are machines with lots of moving parts. But not all machines are so complicated. Some are so simple that you might not even think of them as machines. And they are called simple machines. So let's see if we remember the simple machines of the last time I read the book the last time I read about the lever and I read about the wheel and axle and maybe today we can read about the pulley and the ramp so let's move on you remember this was about the lever and this was also about the lever that has a board and a fulcrum and we can even lift elephants with a lever. And another lever, the baseball bat. And now, you remember, we had the wheels and the axle wheel and on the center, the axle. And today, we are going to read about the pulley. pulley. What would you do if you had to lift something way up high, even higher than you could reach? You might use a simple machine called a pulley. A pulley is a wheel with a groove in it. You see, a rope goes over the pulley. And the groove keeps the rope from falling off the wheel. You see, the groove is there. So, we pull here the rope and the bucket goes up. We go down on this side and the bucket goes up. That's how the 
the the pulley works as you pull the rope down on one side of the pulley the rope goes up on the other side and now you see this boat we have here one pulley for this flag have you ever seen someone raise a flag up a flagpole so we have here the flagpole and on top of the flagpole we have the pulley and the pulley helps us to move the flag up and down up and down and we have here another pulley and another pulley there is a pulley at the top of the pole this is the pole this stick is the pole there is a pulley at the top of the pole the flag is attached to a rope that hangs over the pulley when the person pulls down on one side of the rope the flag is pulled up the other side that is easier than climbing up the pole yeah you don't have to go up to the pole to raise the flag used in groups pulleys can help you lift things much heavier than flags the more pulleys you use the easier it is to lift something with enough pulleys you could lift a rhinoceros see the rhino here you can lift one if you have lots of pulleys working together to help you to pull it up groups of pulleys lift you when you ride in an elevator did you know when you are going in an elevator pulleys are lifting you up you see you are going here on your elevator and the pulley and the pulley and another pulley and another pulley they are lifting your weight away with an electrical motor they are helping the electrical motor and now we have another simple machine the ramp and we can see the ramp here r a m p ramp r a m p ramp and now we have here the ramp ladders can be fun to climb but what if you had to use one anytime you wanted to go up or down you would get tired from climbing ladders all day instead we use stairs which make going up or down easier stairs are a kind of simple machine called a ramp or an inclined plane as you go up a ramp you are not just going up you are also going forward at the same time that takes much less energy than going straight up the lower the angle of the ramp the easier it is to climb so we have here the angle and if we if the angle is small we don't have to make so much strength the pyramids in egypt were built thousands of years ago they were made by stacking many large blocks of stone one upon another back then there were no cranes for lifting such heavy things so people would take the rocks by the ramps you see there's a ramp another ramp and another ramp and another guess how egyptians got heavy stone blocks up so high they used ramps yeah they used ramps to put the blocks up imagine a tall round birthday cake then imagine you get a big slight slice of the cake yum lying on your plate it looks like a ramp like this this is a ramp doesn't it now imagine you flip the piece of cake over is it still looks like a ramp that's because it has a ramp on both sides you see it is a ramp on both sides so if you turn it around it will keep being a ramp and next time we will read about the wedge okay an object with a ramp on both sides is another kind of simple machine 
called a wedge. Simple machine wedges are made of hard materials. No, not cake. And we will read about the wedge on the next read aloud. And now I have a question for you. What things can you lift with a pulley? You see, you, we were reading about the pulley. What things can you lift with a pulley? And what can you do with a ramp? If you have a ramp, what could you do with it? And you can send me a video so I know your answer. And soon we will be together for another story time. And now, bye-bye, my friend. Bye-bye.